first time in a century, the vote to name the next House Speaker went multiple rounds, and tonight it ended without a resolution. Yeah, News 12's Jonathan Gordon joins us in the studio now and has reaction from Hudson Valley congressional members. So, Jonathan, how would you describe what unfolded tonight? Yeah, well, it was a chaotic start to the new Congress, and it could serve as a bad sign of things to come as infighting between Republicans left the House at a standstill. As night fell on Congress, Republicans were no closer to electing its next leader in the House. Three rounds of voting failed to elect party leader Congressman Kevin McCarthy as the new speaker, despite Republicans holding a slim majority. Freshman Congressman Mark Molinaro and Mike Lawler both voted in favor of McCarthy. Lawler took aim at the party's most conservative members for delaying the process. It's time for everybody to unify. It's time for everybody to move forward because the reality is the American people didn't elect us uh, to fight over rules. They elected us to legislate. Not electing a speaker means lawmakers like Lawler were not sworn in on Tuesday. I would have uh, preferred to be sworn in. Uh, but look, we will uh, get about the business of the American people. Democrats, including Hudson Valley Congressman Jamal Bowman and Pat Ryan, rallied behind party leader New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, who garnered the most votes of any speaker candidates, just not enough to grasp the gavel. Sad day for the House of Representatives as an institution. Sad day for democracy, it's a sad day for the American people. It's unclear how Republicans will pivot, whether those who broke from the ranks will eventually back McCarthy, or if it'll take another person to convince the party to rally together. And as for Lawler, he said that he's ready to be sworn in and get going on the priorities that he said got him elected in the first place, like affordability, crime, and the southern border. Ian? So, Jonathan, what do we, uh, what do we know is next in the process? Yeah, well, as you mentioned, the House is expected to resume voting on Wednesday at noon. Now, this will follow hours of closed door negotiations that are happening right now. Of course, we mentioned it's unclear if this will result in enough votes for McCarthy, but Republicans are working now to try and solidify those answers. We'll send it back to you.